First of all, nice to meet you both. Nice okay. to meet you too. How does it feel to work in with the youngest film director from Spider-Man? He's 35. He's the just awesome. really cool because we're in the same boat, you mm -hmm. know. Like yeah. this was my first huge franchise movie. Not that I've done any more. Yes, yeah. my first and movie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it was his first like huge franchise movie. Yeah. So we were able to sort of console in each other when we were stressed or maybe like weren't feeling great and stuff. So we we really became a team and it was a lot of fun. But I also feel like Tom and John being young made it all more relatable. You know, yeah. like it felt authentic to mm -hmm. how we would speak and how you know, kids really are and how the world looks. It feels like he has really, I don't know, how does it feel at that age, 35, the set for in the filming? Because it's more like, I don't know if it was a kindergarten and everybody was so that professional with him. Well, I don't, that would be a question for John, but mm -hmm. I know that John was massively respected throughout the yeah, shooting of the movie. Absolutely. You know, he's very professional, hardworking. Um, and it was very obvious that he wanted to make the best version of this movie he could possibly make, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and the thing I love about, I feel like the film industry is age isn't a thing, that it, age is just a number, you know? <laughs> um, and uh, he really, really crushed it. Yeah. Well, you are an old soul in a young body. Yeah, people say that to me. People say I'm like a 30-year-old stuck in a 20-year-old's body. <laughs> which is not you? true. That I'm like, really? so you true have Who has told you that? You have, mature, <laughs> <laughs> you have a lot of experience. You have a lot of experience. I told you, my kids are so the impossible. You have been in the film you know, business I've a lot. You've been acting now for 10 years. 10 which years. Is crazy. Cool. And you are 20. I know. I mean, it's pretty crazy. <laughs> yes. I'm, I'm not doubting your achievements, Tom. I wasn't Tom. saying you. I wasn't saying you were. I just don't know if you're. What do you want to do, for example? What do you want to do in the next 10 years? For example, you you are already a superhero, for example. And then what is going to be? What are you looking for in the scripts? What I is next? Direct. I want to ah. direct. I um, want to Why? You want the control? No, I just really enjoy the idea of being involved in a movie earlier mm. than I am as an actor. You know, as an actor, you come on the movie set. Mm -hmm. For a director, they get to really manipulate what the movie is, and I really like to be involved in that process. Um, there's a few roles that I'm searching for, directors I wish I could work with, um, actors I'd love to meet and collaborate with. So there's a whole... I've been so lucky that Spider-Man has opened so many doors for me to venture in different directions in this industry, and, uh, and believe me, I'm going to explore all of them. Why director and not producer? Somebody said that produce is like playing a god in a film. Being a producer requires too much, like... <laughs> Uh, meetings and finance and stuff, <laughs> and I don't think I'd be very good at that. Okay. Um, I just think for me, like on set is where I love to be. You know, I love being on set. I love the process of of making movies, and I think I would enjoy it even more if I was behind the monitor, really creating okay. what you see. Okay. I have one minute. You've been on the road a lot and making a lot of interviews, but please tell me something about the films or behind the scenes that you hasn't told anybody. Whatever you want. I have to wear this mask all the time, right? And at one point in the movie, a, a large portion of the fight scene takes place on a, on a beach, as you've seen in the trailer. Mm -hmm. And at one point, John wanted there to be sand in my mask. So when I take the mask off, you see the sand come out of my mask. And I don't think he realized how uncomfortable that was, because <laughs> I had to lie on my back with sand, like, like handfuls of sand all on my face. And the mask is so tight, and obviously because it's so tight, as you're breathing, you're breathing yeah. in sand, yeah. and it's slowly like going in your mouth, and you can't breathe through your nose because it goes up. It's awful, and uh, it looked great. But at the end of the day, John was like, that's a wrap, I'm going home. I was like, director, come back here now and try this mask on. So I like filled it up with sand and like plonked it on his head. And he took it off and was like, I am so sorry. <laughs> that is the most horrendous thing I've ever felt. So, uh, so yeah, there's a story that no one else has Spider-Man from YouTube.